Hey guys. So what I got here is my annealer that I showed in the last video. And I'm going to attempt to do tempering of a one steel punch. This thing is not very thick, so I believe it should work. And normally I use my propane little forge that I made. Looks like this. And I put a propane um, torch in there. And it works pretty well. If I could do this with electric annealer, that would be very cool. Uh, we're gonna test if it gets to the proper temperature by testing with a magnet. Let me see where my magnet is. Okay, so here's my little piece of magnet. And this is not a very strong magnet, but I do this on purpose because with a strong magnet, I risk the chance will stick and I'll have a hard time um, pulling off so the thing uh, is you you know the part will rapidly cool literally have seconds to to get it try to see if it sticks and then try to reheat again and hopefully my uh, circuit board is not gonna fry because it does get pretty hot and I haven't implemented the um, water cooling yet what I got though is I got this refrigerator coil that I picked up from recycle and once I get the proper tubing I will um, play around with that as well all right let's get started all right pulling seven amps And I'll probably see some smoke coming in, coming out, and feel some heat. Yep, it's smoking because I foolishly dunked this in oil by accident. Oh my goodness, look at this guys. It's getting red literally in seconds, which means... Even better, I don't need to wait. I only need to get hot the, the blower part where the actual uh, punch punching occurs, the edge. Oh yeah, it's getting bright. It's getting really bright. And I notice I'm doing this without any gloves, which I don't know. Wow, yeah, it's going pretty good. Okay, I'm going to try to touch the magnet real quick. See if it's um, magnetic or not. If it lost magnetism. Yep, it did. So, that's awesome. Um, looking at my um, unit, I'm pulling 11.5 amps. It's glowing red hot. I'm going to... Let it um, 
soak the heat a little bit. It seems like it's yep getting pretty hot. It's still drawing 11.5 amps. Okay, I'm gonna dunk it in oil and swirl it around. Wow, well, that was the fastest annealing I've ever done. Wow, that is awesome. That makes my job annealing piece of cake. Now, all I have to do is set up a system where it's um, just mounted properly, have the water circulating. So I'm not, my electronics are not getting fried because they do get hot and I, I realize most likely they get hot from the residual heat that's coming off the part of us getting red hot which in, in turn um, heats up the coils and the coils copper so they transfer heat really well and it goes into the heat sinks are actually not even warm these um these ones are i think are capacitors i'm not so sure those do get warm and there you have it guys um there's my beautifully tempered steel punch i need to clean it up and that's gonna make it really really hard Alright, I'm out.